Hey guys, this is Varney back with another video. So it's been a couple of months since I've done anything and um, I had a video that is and I just said, you know what, let me do something. I've been on social media the last couple of days and for the past week actually since Janet came back and um, posted that she's going to prolong or postpone I should say her world tour, her unbreakable world tour started last year. I saw her when she came here to Michigan. She um, she came to Grand Rapids, Michigan. I traveled three hours to go see her, um, and it was well worth it. Um, that's why I decided to get more tickets and see her again when she came to Detroit, finally closer to me. But, um, you know, she said last week that she's postponing her tour uh, because she's starting to plan her family. and. Or because she's planning her family. I don't know if she's starting or if she's already pregnant or if she's even pregnant at all. She didn't make that very clear. Um, and I think that's one of the reasons why it was so much backlash or she received so much backlash on social media. Um, Jan is 49. And for some people, they don't think that she could have a healthy child or that she could get pregnant naturally or that, you know, she could even have a kid. Um, I beg to differ. I uh, know plenty of people who had children past their 40s or past what they consider their prime. And by the way, woman 35 and older is considered um, a high risk pregnancy um, or a higher risk because I think all pregnancies have risk, period. But at 35, it's higher chances for something to be wrong with the child or for the mother to have complications. Um, so at 49, it's definitely a lot more, but it's not impossible for people to speculate or to say that there's no way she could be pregnant because she's 49. That's just silly. Um, I know people who were 40, 54 who got pregnant spontaneously, uh, accidentally or whatever you want to call it, but they got pregnant nonetheless, had a baby and, and the baby was healthy. So there are many stories of people who have had children later on in life. And Janet could be one of those. Um, I think sometimes it could be kind of ageism to me for a person to say, well, she shouldn't be having kids. She's too old. She's this, she's that. Well, that would make what is the right age to have a kid or what is too old? I mean, from what I understood or from what I believe, I should say, anybody can have kids at any time in, in, in any, any part of their life. Um, you know, Janet was a career woman. And she, you don't know, we, we don't know her story. And that's another thing where it creates um, uncertainty as well as people are, you know, making up stories about her because she has not stated her, her truth and saying how or why she decided to do this at this time. Um, and, and that's her right. She doesn't have to tell us anything. In fact, most of Janet's career, she has not told anybody about her personal life. And she stated that's her personal life. She has lived her life in the media and everything about her has been, you know, scrutinized. Um, she's lived under a microscope ever since she was two years old. She stated when Michael became a huge superstar, you know, she was two years old in 1968 when Michael and the Jackson 5 blew up and were as big as they, you know, they are, they were. Um, so her whole life, she's lived in the spotlight. So there's not a time in her life where she wasn't famous or she doesn't know what it's like to not be famous. So I feel like these last couple of years, ever since she got married, um, 2012, to her husband now, Wasama Mana, um, I think he's made her where, you know, she can live in this obscure life, you know, unnoticed and and living normal without having people prying eyes and people knowing what you're doing and everything and I think she likes that and that's fine I mean everybody should have that I feel the privacy it's really important um and you know going back to her canceling her tour or not canceling this up that was she postponed her tour um and a lot of people felt like well she basically canceled it because it was postponed um, no, she stated, uh, that it was, well, she didn't, but someone from her camp put out, uh, on social media that the, sh the show will resume in 2017. People will be able to get refunds, which is ludicrous to me. The fact that people were complaining about money 
Like, I get it. You put your money in. You don't know when she's going to, you know, perform. So you feel like, well, I should get my money back. And that's fine. Everybody's entitled to that. Um, but the fact that they made it a national headline, that's crazy. Like, I've never heard that in my life. Um, people, Janet postponed her tour. So now people are asking for refunds and you know, there's a lot of people who have done this in the past, whether they cancel or postpone a tour or something, and you never hear about it to this magnitude. I don't know if it's because of social media or because Janet has had a history of postponing and canceling tours. Um, I mean, or because she's a Jackson. I mean, I don't know. But, um, you know, I just found that was weird. But Anyways, so for those of you who said that you're not going to go see her this next time around, so be it. Um, you know, that's part of, I guess, canceling or that's part of postponing a tour. I got to get that out of my head. It's not canceling, postponing a tour. Um, you know, you may lose out on some of your fans and you will lose trust because ultimately when you, when you plan a tour and you state that you're going to do these dates, then that's what people expect you to do. So when you cancel or when you postpone it or whatever you do, it creates doubt with the buyer, um, the customer, the consumer, uh, the fan, that if you decide to go back on tour again, whether you will, in fact, go on tour. Um, so, And then for Ticketmaster and all these other outlets who said that they, when people asked for their refund, said that they wouldn't give them their money back, um, well, that's the policy that these vendors have. And that's something that no matter whether it's a Janet tour or who, whoever's tour, it's going to be on there. Um, so I think that's something people should look into before they decide to put their money. I know that's something, you know, we don't think about. We're just like, yeah, let's get these Janet tickets. Let's do it. You know, we don't think, well, wait a minute, if she cancels and we won't be able to get our money back or if she postpones or whatever. So um, for people to blaming Janet herself is, is ludicrous to me. She has no control over the tickets or anything like that. Um, what she does have control over is resuming the show or postponing or canceling it. So, um, anyways, I just want to say I'm proud. I'm, I'm, I'm as a Jan fam. I'm proud to finally have, I think, a little sibling because <laughs> I've always said that Jan is my musical mother, um, and I'm glad that she's she's decided to to have a kid. She's she should have been had a kid in my opinion. Um, I've been saying this for the last 10 years for sure, that uh, when she was with Jermaine Dupri, I was like, Janet, you know, when she was on Oprah and Tyra and all these other shows, and they kept asking her, you know, do she want to have kids? And she kept on saying, you know, God willing, if, if it's meant to be and, and all this other thing. And I'm like, girl, you're like 40. You need to have a kid. So, um, so I'm, I'm glad. I'm happy. Um I feel that she will be able to have a healthy baby. She has enough money and she should be fine. She's she's not going to need or worry for anything, you know, with the money that she has on top of what her husband, who's a billionaire, what he has. Janet has no worries whatsoever. She has a huge family to help and support her as well. So, um there's she doesn't need to worry about anything. Um now I'm kind of scared as a fan for her to come back on tour. Um, whether or not she will, in fact, continue to this magnitude of the tours that she has. You know, I, my thing is, my fear is that she goes back on tour after she has a baby and no one shows up. And, you know, that's, that would be terrible. You know, for a Janet fan, it's like, ugh, that's the worst thing. So I just hope that, I really would like her to just go to, go to Vegas. Um, I know if she cancels the tour, then she's going to owe a lot of money. For the vendors and things that she booked um and she may have a lawsuit on her hands so that would not be good so i think that's why she said postponing it um but i think vegas would be good for her and i could go see her i love vegas anyways so just give me another reason to go to vegas and i think she would do well she will be able to, to not have to travel it won't be so much wear and tear on her body her kids will be able to stay there and you know, not have to travel and go on the roads. I'm sure she'll have her babies with her. Like most people, you know, when they have kids, they take them on the road with them. So um, I just think all around Vegas will be better for her. Um, but again, Janet can do what she wants to do, and I'm okay with it. So as a fan, I just want to say I support Janet. I will go to her tour when she comes back 2017, um, and I want to meet her. 
I mean, that's one of my things I want to do. I've always said before I die. So I hope to have to be able to say that. Um, and and I'm here. And I, I want to see that damn baby video, by the way. I mean, in the meantime, Janet, you can be putting out these videos. You can put out your tour that you did from the Janet World Tour. You can do something to satisfy us fans because we feel like we're just, we're, we have nothing. 2016 started in no Janet. So come on, put out something in the meantime while you're, resting and doing what you need to do put out some videos so that's it that's all i want to say all right